yes ladies and gentlemen welcome to this episode yeah this is condi designs for this particular episode i'm going to show you how we create how we design a roof tile around here so let me change this uh, to hidden lines so that i can see exactly what i'm doing save the project now whenever Larry tells you to save your project please endeavor to do so to start with we have to to load our family into this project that is the tile family in the previous video i showed you how we create a tile family and we already created one so we are going to load it into this project so you come to component you click on it you come to load family yeah my tile uh, in the last episode i saved it under my library 25 so here i will not show you where to get yours it will depend where you saved yours or where you have your tile so mine is here we saved it as a clay tile so i'll look for it it is right here i click on it open you can see it is already loaded in the project as you can see it is here and also this side so i press escape so to sketch out the path of our roof tile i'll go to massing and site it is right here i click on massing and site I make sure my show mass is turned on, mine is turned on, show mass it is turned on, I come to in place mass, I click on in place mass, the mass one, so you can either rename it the way you want, but for this case I can go with mass one, I click ok, I come and set a plane, I click here set a plane so I make sure I set my plane I pick the upper surface you should zoom in properly so that you make sure you pick your plane to be the upper one that means our roof tiles are going to sit on this upper surface so I click on that I come here to pick lines I sketch out the path of my tiles So I can go with this first, I click that, I click on that, I come this side also, we are sketching the path, we zoom in properly, you pick this side also, shall pick that one then for this upper side now remember we have our ridge cap passing here so i'll offset uh, let me offset 50 on both sides so i'll offset 50 inwards this side then i join my lines i've created i come to this tool i click on it i join this with this i extend this with this I do the same I make sure the loops are all closed so I'm missing a line here I come back I pick line I pick that line I come and join I join this to this join this to this then I select the lines I've picked yeah, it has selected all then I create form you make sure all the lines are selected you zoom in to see properly you come and create form so it has created this form yeah but our form is too thick so we shall reduce it i can give it a distance of 20 i can give it 25 i can go with that then i come to divide surface i click on it i divide my surface it will give me this pattern I come where there is edit on this panel of properties 
I come to U grid under layout instead of fixed number. I go to fixed distance because we already know the distance of our roof tile. Our roof tile we created was 300. Then I will change this to beginning. I come to the V grid. Instead of fixed number, I put it at fixed distance. Our distance is 300. Then I will change this justification to end. So I have, it will divide my grids like this. So I will change the pattern. I come here under pattern. I drop down. I look for my tile. The clay tile is here. I click on it. I get my clay tiles but when you look at when you look at this the clay tiles are in the opposite direction so what do you do you come here where there is all grid rotation you keep changing angles for this case I can give it 90 and we see yeah for 90 that is perfect yeah it has given us that slope you tick you finish finish mass we have finished our mass so we are having our tiles on one side we do the same also this side we come to massing and site in place mass click on it mass 2 okay we set our work plane we click on it the work plane we are setting that means uh, the roof tile are supposed to sit on our work plane so for this case we zoom in and select this top surface of our roof i click on it i come and pick lines i pick that one i pick this i come this side i pick this when I'm to zoom here, I think here we didn't pick. I pick this also. For this one, now we have our ridge passing here. Our ridge cap. So I'll offset 50 on this side. Then I join. I join them using this. This join extend tool. I make sure the lines don't intersect or cross each other. So I have to make sure. I close everything plus all the closed loops I close them I join this to this then I select all the lines I've created I zoom in this one is not selected I hold my hand on to control the control key click on it I check this one also if it is selected perfect I come here, I create form, the lines are too short, so cancel, that means there is somewhere we have not joined, let us cross check, let us cross check if they are all joined, this to this, that is joined this to this this to this i think they are joined let us try again and see control create form lines are too short there is some short lines let me first delete these ones and I repeat I run on the short lines okay let us set a plane again we set our plane to be that upper one come and pick line so it's better you start with this downer one I pick that 
I pick that. I'll come this side. I pick that up. This one I will offset by 50. Then I join them. Join this to this. Join this to this. These ones are joined. This to this. I press my escape several times to remove the command. I select all these lines. I've selected all of them by holding my control key. I create form. It is still telling us the same thing. Line is too short. I'll need to cancel this. Let me cancel this mass. Cancel the mass. Let me repeat. It will have to come. So I come to massing and sight. Show mass by view settings. I come to in place mass. Click on it. Mass 2. I say OK. I set my work plane. My work plane is this upper one. So I click on it. Let's wait. Let me reset my work plane. It is this one. Click on it. Come and pick lines. I pick that. I pick that. I come this side. I pick that, I come this way, I offset my 50. I come and join them, join this to this, join this with this, join this with this, join this with this. I press my control. I escape the command. I click on all. I think they've all been selected. I create mass. Yeah, it has finally come. I reduce it to 25. That's what we had given also this one, this side. I click on the space. I divide my surface. I come this way under the under its properties. The layout, instead of fixed number, I change it to fixed distance. I give it 300. And then the justification, beginning. And then the layout for the V grids, the same. Fixed distance, I give it 300. And then the, the justification, this will be end. Then I come under where there is the pattern I drop down I click on my tile pattern I have my tile pattern to change our angle 180 this is what it does so 180 is perfect now this is supposed to sit on the downer one yeah so you finish the mass by ticking. This is what we have for the roof tile. You can change here into shaded. You see the roof tiles? Perfect. Yes, so we are done with the roof tiles. Yeah, this is how they look like. This is how they place them in Revit. Hey, thank you for watching this tutorial. Hope you learned. Please don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel for more Revit tutorials and Archka tutorials. Stay blessed. Till next time. Thank you.